Yeah. <laughs> Morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel and our garage sailing video. There's a lot of water coming from the sky. I have zero idea how this is going to go. We have to go get gas and stuff anyway, so we're just going to, like, hope for the best. This is supposed to go away. We'll see. All right. We got gas. Found a sale. Oh, buddy, I should have taken a Tylenol before we left the house. Oh, I'm sore. And I'm really wanting mugs. I'm in a, I'm in a mug mood. Gotta check out the free bucks. One, two, three, four, six bowls. Two, three, four, five, six, seven plates for five bucks. Wonder what that pattern is. Six, seven. I thought I. Yep. Yeah. Seven. What do you think? Um, I don't Did think. Do these I match? Don't know. The, yeah, those match, right? Yeah. I don't think, because I don't know. Hmm. I wonder what this pattern is. Free stuff on the side of the road. I don't know what this is, but it like sits on a dresser. I think. Yeah, maybe. I'm not doing good with it upside down. Yeah, see, it like sits on a dresser and provides drawers, which is cool. It the just, water is all I know up. that's why we need to get it wiped off. I don't have a wipe off. There's blankets and stuff in there. Just grab one of those. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like already raising on this back. Like it's already water damaged. Uh, Somebody could chic it though. We're just going to leave it? Well, because I'm thinking that somebody can paint it, but I don't know. I guess we're leaving it. I'm gearing up for a second garage sale of the day. Ooh, these are older books. Right, how much were the paperbacks? 25 cents. I don't have this one. This is a really good series. The Bride Quartet. Oh, I read it last summer. When we were at the lake house, it was so good. It was really, really good. I think I have that one already. I have that one at home. Clearly, she was a Norma Roberts fan. I can't read the tiny ones, man. I just can't do it. My eyes aren't that good, even with my glasses. Oh, man, that sucks. They got wet. I think all these got wet. Bummer. Yeah, you can see all this got wet too. I'm gonna have to go through those as well. I'm a lot less picky than he is.
Doesn't have a price on it though. I don't have my glasses on. Anchor hawking, I think. What? Anchor hawking, I think. Yeah, I like them. Prices here are fantastic. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go back and look at the records. That guy's buying some. I forgot to look. How did I walk right past these? <gasps> They've got owls. On, or that one has an owl. I'm gonna ask how much these are. Oh, buddy. I thought those were crow. They're corning. Still pretty close. Man, that lady's prices were so good. I think I got some good things. And now we found a rummage sale. Those are neat. They light up. That's another one that's not lit up. Gotta keep my eyeballs open for oval frames for spider webs. 20 bucks on that. 10 on the little guy. Can't love the pig butt. collection. Denmark. I like the glaze on those. Ooh. All items sold by donations unless price is marked. Probably like sugar and creamer, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah. This is one. It's got freaking camels on it. Oh, it's Otagari. That's why I like it. Mm. It's also not marked, so I might be up to three mugs. Books hard a dollar each, soft three for a dollar. Hmm. Something in here smells like cigarette smoke. Yeah, <laughs> Got pill the bottle, pill bottle. Dentures. Shot glass. Magnifying glass, you can see stuff. I need that now. Yeah. Can't even freaking, I forget my glasses. Probably every other day. Dude. Holy Spirit Catholic Church rummage sale. I think we go in there. Which one did I go check out? This little, there's like a little radio over there somewhere. Okay, we found it. We were kind of like wandering, not knowing exactly where we were supposed to go. Oh lord. Books are 25 cents for paperback. Hardcovers are 50 cents. Looks 
Christmas opera. Brian Adams Unplugged. Elton John. I'm still not sure about soundtracks. I wish I did. How much are these? Moulin Rouge. Let me check them. Okay. Back to books. Prices on things are pretty good. As far as I can thus far tell. What are you chewing about? I kick something. Oh, yeah, don't kick things. Got a big chip in it. Ooh, more mugs. I want like a good stoneware handcrafted style mug. Keegan has this exact mug that has a K on it. He got it for Christmas a couple years ago. Ooh, more mugs. I don't do well with those kind of mugs, even the 3D ones. They just sit forever. Pac-Man. It's not in the greatest of condition, though. It's pretty worn. Yeah. Oh my god, look at all the mugs. Yeah, I just awesome. keep finding more mugs. And yet, I'm not seeing a freaking good, good quality... Stoneware mug. That's what I really want. Those are pretty. Brains. I didn't find any at that last place. Not any like interesting or oval ones. I'm not seeing any here either. I see vintage, but I'm not seeing vintage oval. Oh, this is not broken. I mean, it looks good. I don't see anything busted. Oh, it's been repaired. I'm gonna look at this. Look through this one real quick. What are the odds I could find a remote for our TV? Leona ate our remote for the TV because she is a dick. Hold on. Okay. Well, I didn't find any for the TV, but I did pull out this old Philco, which is interesting. I think that's something we're to look up that might actually hold some value. My phone is not functioning in here, which means I can't look any of this stuff up. Gosh darn it. Of course he finds where it's broken. I looked and looked. You guys seen that. I guess we're putting that back. I'm trying to figure out what this was a stand for. Back to sailing. These don't have prices on them. Somebody definitely collected Hello Kitty. It is all Hello Kitty. Oh my God. 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 O
Yeah, it is. It's your dude. Awesome. From Twilight. Yeah, it is. Robert Pattinson. He wants the t-shirt. He really, really wants the t-shirt. Also, who approved that face? I think it's AI. Look at it. Like, that's... <laughs> that's horrible. I know somebody had commented about my book prices at uh, a garage sale. That seems pretty average for around here. Royal Jaeger for was, six bucks, but it's was, been repaired. He was drinking that day. <laughs> Knocked it yeah. over, now it's a Jaeger. Now it's a Jaeger. <laughs> wow, there's like a lot of stuff. I, I have to get my head back in the game. My son just called me. He had a um, 250. He had some stuff he had to take care of, so he ended up not walking with his class. And he just called me. He finished what he had to finish, and he is done. He has got his diploma in his hand. I am unbelievably proud. It's quite the haul, and I didn't even show you some of this stuff. I am going to be doing a lot of research. This, I couldn't quite read the whole back of it. Bought this at the church rummage sale. <coughs> something by... <coughs> Do you have something to say? Huh? <laughs> How, what? Tell the people. Tell them. <laughs> say I boxed you in. <laughs> Um, but it says on the bottom here something about made in Germany, Putnam, Greece maybe, Greece, Putnam. I don't know. I've seen the Germany. I paid a dollar for it, so I feel like I can't totally go wrong there. Uh, I don't know. Dolls and me. That's what you're borking at. It's the doll. She hates babies. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we ended up with her. That's how she ended up in rescue. Yeah, not a fan of babies <laughs> or dolls that resemble babies. I might keep this. Grandma Wheaton's Pet Foods for year-round use is select condition food for small birds. Isn't that cool? Oh, I just love that. I honestly think I'm going to keep it and I might put it up on one of my new shelves. It's cool. Love it. We did grab the Moulin Rouge CD. I ended up putting the other one back. Uh, it's still experimental. The, the music from motion picture soundtracks do really well on cassette tape for me. So now I'm kind of just slightly putting my foot in the water to see if CDs are the same. So far so good. I'll let you know how that goes. This is kind of a question mark also bought from the church it's clearly a base for something I paid three dollars for it my phone would not work in there so what it's a base to I have zero idea look at all the freaking dog fur you guys leave behind got anything to say for yourself no because it's not even you it's the beagle I get it so I'm gonna do some more research like I said on those or on that I should say it's real metal like it's tarnishing. Can you guys see that? Brass maybe? I don't know. These I bought for four dollars. Copyright something. Oh, these are Sirocco. Interesting. Okay, so I got a pair of Sirocco candle holders. I love these. I'm gonna try not to hoard them. I tried not to hoard those as well, and it didn't work, obviously. <laughs> those have been hoarded. Um, I do have a spot that I was like, oh, this would look really good, but I'm just going to ruminate on that for a while. I got three mugs today. I paid 50 cents a piece for these two and a dollar for the Otagari. Radon stuff doesn't do well for me. It really just doesn't. I'm actually going to switch up my tactics slightly. And I'm going to just stick these out at our next pop-up sale, which I honestly don't know when that's going to be. It's rained the it rained two weekends in a row. We had Rich's um, grandfather's funeral 
the last Wednesday, which was yesterday, although I'm not sure when this is actually going out. And then this coming Wednesday, it's supposed to be 96 degrees. I'm not even going to try to do a pop-up sale when it's 96 degrees outside. It's just not going to happen. So at some point, those will probably go out for like five bucks a piece in one of our pop-up sales. I don't know if I'm going to hoard this or not. It's got freaking camels on it. It is Otagari. It's got the original sticker. And it's got freaking camels on it. I might use it and then sell it. I don't know. You guys know how I am with mugs. Miller High Life Partners in Conservation. Paid 25 cents for it. Ducks Unlimited with the strap back. I did not look it up because, again, my phone wouldn't work. That was also from the church sale. I think I paid a dollar for this. It is like a vintage ring box. It's a it's a casket style. I love these. This is the smallest one I may have ever picked up. Like it's tiny. It's just a little ring box. The skis. Now, after we stopped at the sale where I found out my kid actually graduated, I'm so excited. Uh, my brain was just elsewhere. I wasn't thinking. I didn't even take you guys with us into this garage sale. I didn't even know it was there. I was on my phone, and Rich pulled over. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, uh, garage sale. I was like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I know. That's, yeah, that's what we're doing today. I, I'm right there following you. I'm right, right behind you. I really love old, the old wooden skis. I think they look great as decor. Um, I mean, tell, and then I was talking to the lady about it because I'm just I'm like tinked in a weird way. I was talking about how I thought they'd be cool as decor hanging on a wall. And then she was like, Ooh, and she, her brain started going. She's like, that would make a cool shelf. And it was like, Oh, you are right. That would make the coolest freaking shelf in like a lake house, a boat house, something. And then I was like, how much do you want for them? And she goes, I don't want anything for them. You can just take them. Go for it. <laughs> I was like, really? Like, I'm not going to argue with you. I'll take them for free. Absolutely. We are beyond broke. So for sure, 100% we'll take them for free. Um, I just think they're really freaking neat. We, I, there no, there's no, at least not that I've seen, there's no markings on them. I don't know a brand name. I don't even know if they are branded. But they're cool. They're very cool. I grabbed The Last Boyfriend, book two of the In Boonesboro trilogy. It's the one that I don't have. Am I going to read it? I don't know. Am I going to sell it? I might. I Again, I don't know. But it's the one I don't have. <laughs> I have the other ones in that trilogy. This, I'm slightly in love with. It is a vintage macrame plant hanger. And it is a doozy. It's a big one. I hate that they reproduce these. This is real from like the 70s. Excited about it. This one also has the ceramic owl beads and stuff. Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love it. I also have an extra one that she gave me. Rich found these. They are pink depression glass, and I'm fairly sure they're anchor hocking. But again, I told you guys I forgot my glasses. So I'm not 100% sure. Pretty sure they're anchor hocking. I paid 50 cents for the set of four. Love garage sales. At the same sale, I got this. You guys ready for this? Hold on. Again, probably the same era. It is a vintage latch hook rug. And I think this was the style that was made to hang on a wall. I have not looked it up yet, but I paid a dollar for it and I love it. <laughs> it is super interesting. I think we have one thing left. Crawl over here. And this is all of that Corel I bought. I paid four for all of the pieces. There's six bowls and seven plates. We did look up the pattern and now I'm drawing a blank. I do not remember. The pattern's called Country Something. It's not saying they're made in USA. 
I love Corel myself. Our personal dishes are Corel. We'll love that company. So for four dollars, I think I did well. I'll probably sell the plates separate than the. Um, I might sell them. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna sell these yet. I have not figured that out. But I don't know specifically what we spent today. I wasn't paying attention. I usually write it down on my phone, and I didn't today. So it's a mystery. But we did well. I think I think we did really well. I'm going to figure out what to do with all this stuff so Leona doesn't chew it up. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.